Hey guys, um, I'm cutting steel. I'm going to make a, a little crankshaft uh, jig, and um, and I thought I might as well share how it's done because um, nowadays a lot of people, when they've got some steel to cut, you know, they'll they'll get a, a, an angle grinder and they'll start cutting it with um, with discs, and it makes a right mess. There's um, the, the disc disintegrates and goes all over them. The filings go all over. And you get an awful finish and it's, it's not square and it takes a lot of cleaning up and it's just, just messy. It takes forever. Um, there's a quick way of cutting steel uh, by hand and um, you do it with a hacksaw. And if you've never tried it, then yeah, give it a whirl. I'm going to show you how to how to do it. Um, ideally, you should have a new or a newish hacksaw blade, and if you run your fingers down the sides, you should feel it biting into your into your fingers, and um, so that shows it should be okay. Um, if in doubt, you know, fit a new blade. And, um, and if you've got a lot of steel to cut, then yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Uh, this one seems okay. You can see it's, it's used. So it shows that even with a used blade, you know, it's going to go through, um, through it like butter. Okay, um, you, can, you can do it in... Um, if it's a long piece, you might want to support it in one of these typical work table, vice work tables, but... Uh, yeah, you can do it in um, in a, in a in a vice. Um, you know, the vice is the, is the better one. It gets a it gets a better grip. Um, good idea if you've got some files to clean up afterwards. Um, and the triangular file for starting it. It's not absolutely necessary, but it allows you to get a start, and then the blade doesn't jump around everywhere. So uh, those are two nice, nice things to have. And obviously a bit of lubricant is going to, um, is going to help. So um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll set up and I'll show you how it's done. Right, okay, so we, we have the, um, the steel supported and measured off. And the first thing we do is we'll take our um, triangular file and cut a guide. Um, we can take a square and um, you know this isn't necessarily going to be um, fine uh, engineered um, but we can put our square down and see where it is in relationship to the V okay and um, Give it a measure and see how close you are. Okay, good enough, close enough. Right, just um, so now it's going to be the um, the technique, and um, the the hacksaw only cuts on the downward stroke. What we're doing is we're guiding the tool. And so you need to have a good stance, and you can put your, your, your foot on the workbench, wherever, but you need to be solid and have this action, okay? And that is going straight, pumping straight down. And we use our, our left arm, or if you do the one vice versa, if you're right hand, left handed. Um, but that's the action. And if you can do that action, then you'll cut straight. Okay. So, um, in fact, you know, if you were just knocking bits of metal out, you wouldn't, you'd just make a mark and then just go straight down and that would be it. Okay, so, um, I'll bring it down 
and you can see how quickly, and we can time how quickly it takes. And what we'll do is we'll put a bit of uh, a bit of oil. All around the metal. And let's do it. Notice how I'm using the full length of the blade. Now engage the bottom part of the um, of the angle iron. We're almost through. It only takes a few seconds. That's it. I don't know how long that took. 30 seconds. And uh, take a dirty rag. Yeah. And just wipe off the, the findings. And then take a file. Yeah. And first thing, deburr. Okay. Dirty rag. If you have a rag with some light oil or paraffin, you can see, look, just give that and it just cleans it up nice. Yeah? And then dry off. Now you've got a finished, that's it finished. If you cut that off with an angle grinder, you'd be still at it. And then you've got all the messing around with all the muck, the muck that you've created. And uh, if we look, look at that. Yeah, in just a few seconds, and you can, and it's safe to touch. You've deburred it, and you've got like your nice piece of metal, clean and, and, and ready to handle for your project. And so you can knock knock those uh, a load of those off without even breaking into a sweat. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that helps. Um, it's that action, you know. It's machine-like action. And don't force it. Let the tool do the work. All right, guys. Good luck with your projects.